Shinji, crank that, soldier boy. What's up, guys? Yuki Fox here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to like merge regulation bins so you can like merge my mo uh, merge mods that have you know conflicting params, and you know when you try to use rap yap to rune bear, which isn't even supported anymore. That's what I was doing at first, and it's just it's too complicated for someone dumb like me. So if you're pretty not great with tech too much, but you can kind of do the basics of stuff, I'm gonna show you how to like combine two mods and I'll show you wh what I'm working with at the exact moment because I combined two mods already and that's how my regulation bin is set and it was the magic overhaul mod with unlocked affinities and perma buffs or whatever it's called so basically I can buff any weapon and it lasts forever but I even can even put it on the nexus mod so you can download this regulation bin I'm starting with right now the re the FP region doesn't work for some reason. I not it didn't work before I even did all this. So it's just the mods issue itself. I don't know how to fix it, but as you can see, I can combine or put any buff on any weapon. Sp considering I'm holding a special weapon, you can't buff normally. I can do that. So that's a fun mod. I would just wanted to be able to have a little extra cool magic with the magic overall, which I'm only using that mod right now so I don't really I'm not that far in the game with really any good spells to work with that right now because I'm I like to mid max play the game slow and steady but yeah you can put this on anything but as you know consumables aren't the easiest thing to come by so today I'm gonna show you how to combine with magic overhaul and this perma buff mod with unlimited consumables so that's where we'll be starting so let's get back to the actual nitty gritty um, the way I have stuff set up is also a little different. So, what I'm working with already is a little different because I'm using the uh, co-op mod, seamless co-op mod with this, because me and my girl both play this together the way, like, you know, so I'll unpack my mods to her so she can just already have all this, so she didn't have to, like, <laughs> deal with all this combining regulation crap. So mine's a little different, so I'll link in the description the setup for Seamless Co-op itself if you don't already have that, and how to use mods with the Seamless Co-op. So if you aren't... So that's what, why Regulation Bids can be somewhere different because of that, because I'm not modding just straight up vanilla Elden Ring, because you also have to use, you know, toggle in and cheat yourself. I like Seamless Co-op, because for one, it's just funner that way with your friends, but also because it separates it from, you know, you're not going to get banned using it, because it's its own server and all that or whatever so anyway how I have it set up is I'm uh, not there um mod engine mod this is actually the bin I'm gonna be affecting with so this is the bin that has magic overhaul and permabuffs combined so basically say we're gonna get it into dark ds map studio to show you how this works that's what opens up It's saying that because I basically re-deleted what I already did. I had the consumer mod and stuff combined for myself, but I'm restarting it so I can show you all how it works. So, you just gotta go with the first step. So, you're gonna go where your main bin that you're using now. So, basically, I'm gonna go to File. You're gonna create project, new project. Uh, just name it whatever. I'll name it main just to show you. Project directory. This is where the bin. This is where you're gonna see where that file bin file is. So mine I showed you was, you know, Steam library, Steam apps, common, Elden Ring game, mod engine, and then mod. It was here. You just don't see it now. So. That's the file. That's where my bin is at. So wherever your bin is, that's where you're going to put this. And then game executable, that is just the actual Dark Souls, uh, or Dark Souls, Elden Ring's EXE. So basically the same stuff. Except it should be right here. Like your actual Steam, you know, EXE for it. And then you hit create. And, uh, Basically, I'm showing I'm showing you the step by steps with the actual Nexus mods like tutorial for this, but 
if you're like me and you like a visual thing so i'm basically going through these steps again with you and i've only done this a couple times so sorry if i'm slow so i'm kind of reading some of these steps again to make sure i'm not messing up myself all right, so... okay so now that you should have your main it's not showing it you got to hit uh the param editor real quick now it's showing what i have and what's cool about this you see these green things that's what the actual regular mission what is modified right now with the bins i'm using so you can at least also see what you need specifically with dark or with this ds map studio you wrap you and you have to rune bear didn't show that which is why i was getting confused because basically i would just overwrite each thing by max exporting because i don't know because you know people in certain mods they don't show you what params are being edited so it's kind of if you're going in blindly you don't know what the hell to look for so this dumbs it down for you so and you, it's really cool you can just search right here and type modified and it'll only show you what's being messed with which is very helpful which we're going to show you how that works too so once you have your bin found and it's open like this with your new project, you should have your main project open like this. And now you're going to download the new mod. So whatever mod you're trying to combine, I'm trying, this is already here. This is what this is. This is the unlimited consumables. So I already have that mod ready to go for me and maybe make a folder for it, whatever it's called. Unlimited. Uh... I don't know if I spelled it right. Probably not. Nope. Oh, well. I don't know. Anyway, so put that in there. Folder up your new project bin you're trying to combine. Or your new regulation bin, I mean. So now you're going to do the same thing. Create another new project. And this one is the consumables, so just type unlimited again. Project directory, you will go exactly where it's at. Mine's on the desktop, so you will find wherever that was unlimited. So select folder. The same thing with the game executable. Go back to it and Steam apps. If you're confused how to find all this, you can go to the actual game on Steam and right click it and go to like. Uh, manage uh, files or something it takes you where this is if you're confused on how to find it so same thing now you should have both projects basically where both bins are at and that's all you need to look like hit create again now this one is showing this is the new one which also you know it's correct because it's equipped param goods because that's the only thing this uh, one affects so i should, thought i should this would be easy to show you too because it's only one param row we're going to import in the new project you're going to click on param editor which we're already here so now this is what i was talking about research modified click that And then you click, uh, sorry, you click on the left param of what is green, so you know it's selected. And then the middle row, you'll type modified. Then you'll see all of these that are only being affected by the bin that we're trying to combine. So everything is showing for you. And uh, you're going to hit Control A or in this middle row, which will select them all. This is the main part you're going to be doing is basically this. So now that you're here on the top left, click on edit. I'm going to export this. Go to all rows. 
Is it all for Rams? Okay. Oh, sorry. That's why I get confused because this text is a little behind on what this actually looks like now. So sorry. You go to export. Go to quick action, actually, is best for me. And then export entire param to file. So now you can save this where you want to save it. And I'm going to be saving it to desktop. And the smart thing, you want to save this what the parameter is called. So, sorry, since now it's kind of in the way if you didn't remember it, because it's over here, you can barely see it, so you could just hit cancel real quick. Okay, it's called Equip Param Goods. So, if you couldn't remember that and you didn't see it, like I do sometimes, because I'm an idiot, go to that, do all this again, Control A, after clicking Modified, go back to Edit, so Export, all quick selection entire file we're going to be doing this to the desktop so i can find it easy and we'll just name it what we need it to be so equip param good and then save so now that whole entire param row is saved And then so if you have a different bin you're using than what I'm showing, uh, you would do this for every row that is modified. So when you were over here and you type modified and it showed maybe more than just one, you'd still separately choose one, do this, save them all separately for each one you need. But luckily this is an easy one, it's one, so you don't have to worry about that. And once they're all exported, so... Once these are exported, you go back to opening up your original project. Which mine was under mods right here. Uh, sorry, I'm pretty sure the Johnson is the file. No, hold on, what am I doing wrong? Sorry, file, open project. There we go. Oops. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, I don't know why that, I don't know why you messed up there. So open the original project where I saved. So you see it's this one that has all these. So once this is open, <clears throat> go back to the param editor, and then you're going to search for the one that we just exported. So that was equip param goods, I believe. And then from here, once you have this selected to where the middle window is showing, you're going to go to Edit. I'm pretty sure you just import from the file, so you go to find the file we saved on my desktop. 
but I'm double checking. Sorry, I'm slow. I'm just making sure I'm reading this all correctly. It's a lot of steps. Yes, open from file. Hold on. Where the hell did it go? Compile all fields. Sorry, that's where I was confused. Hit all fields. Sorry for that exact for that spot. Then you go where we found that one. So you have to go where we saved that. Just type it out because I can't see it for some reason. Why is that showing? Was I just blind and not seeing it? Oh wait, I put it in here. I'm done. That's why, right? Why is it showing in here? Even when I type it, it's not showing up. I'm confused on that. Well, I named it Param Goods, I believe, or Equip Params Goods, right? Yeah. Okay. There it is. So I don't know why it's not showing on the desktop where it's at. Unless I put it somewhere, I don't remember. So type it manually. Sorry, I'm an idiot. So once you do that, just make sure you open the correct one, obviously. Now you just merge them. That's basically what just happened. They're merged now. And basically, like I said, if you had more than one, do this all for all of them. Once they're all done, all you got to do is save. So file, save all. And if done correctly, it should have saved to the correct spot. Yes, because we opened the original project and then did this and saved it. So it should already be where it needs to be. So I really should be able to just play the game now. And it should work. So now I should have unlimited consumables. So if it worked correctly, when I put a buff on or whatever, even my physics should be able to be used infinitely. That looked a little weird. <laughs> um, so let's see if it worked. Let's see the physics. Yep. See, now I can use the physic over and over. And now there's no numbers on the fire grease, as you see. Which now that that's why I wanted to combine these mods together because with the perma buffs, you know, it's just fun to always have a buff on now. But you know, when they're not unlimited, it's kind of annoying, and it's, you still don't want to use it as much. But yeah, so now I have all these combined together, including fire pots or consumables or infinite starlight shards. So that's why one of those mods combined together, and that's how you guys do it. Sorry for a lot of the long pauses as I was being dumbfounded and bewildered, I guess. But that's how you do it. Hope this has helped. I will leave all the things and stuff I used in the description, so if you wanted to follow for my setup of Seamless Co-op, you can. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys later.